Okay, so we had a, a bit of a, a random outage just now. Um, let's get back on it. Should we? I'll spin you around, and then we can just tell everybody what we're doing. Yes. All right. I'm back. You're back. Awesome. You're back live. Yeah, cool. So we're live again, which is great. Sorry, we're live. So when we drop out, we just drop out. We just dial back in. Um, we are today cooking up a storm in a camper van. Um, so we will be actually making up one of our favorite recipes. Um, before we do that, I was just showing everyone around the camper van. Um, don't forget we're live, so if you do have any questions or comments, put them in the comments section below, um, and we can read those. We can do our best to answer any questions. Um, hit us up with a like or a love heart or whatever. We yes. love those things. All down here in yeah. the comments section. Um, now, for now, um, we had a quick look at the bed configuration, um, the shower and toilet, which is in there, and we're just going through the kitchen stuff. Um, where did I get up to? Let's see, we looked at the fridge, which is full of beer and food, which is great. <laughs> um, we looked at the, the frying, frying pans, pans and saucepans. And the view, look at the view. And the view. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Can uh, I squish past you there? Oh, yeah, just a yeah. Second. Go that it's way if you like. a little bit dark, yeah. That's better. That? Hey. Better? Hello. Oh, cool. Rachel's ahead of us already. Oh, great. She, Rachel says, thanks for your question, Rachel. She says, would you recommend buying your food first or picking up fresh stuff on the road? Oh, good question. Um, so I think probably the best thing to do is pick up your van first and then you get to see how much space you've got and how much space you've got to fill with all of your food. Um, and then you literally just drive it to the supermarket and pick up what you need. Um, and don't forget that there's some really cool fresh produce on at different parts of the world, wherever you happen to be picking up. Um, where uh, like farmers and people who just grow too much stuff um, <laughs> put it out on the side of the road and, and so you can buy like really cool fresh fruit and veg, seafood sometimes um, from yeah just locals on the side of the road which is really cool. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Good question. And that's kind of also the stuff that you would buy in the supermarket but it's grown in those places and then you get it first before it even gets to the supermarket so it's even fresher. Right. Yeah. So yeah. which is something that we've got today actually to cook, which we'll show you shortly as well. Nice. Yes. Cool. Uh, what else have we got? Okay, so um, yeah, that's kind of it for the kitchen. Obviously here we have the hob and the sink. So we've got our um, gas cooking and we've got like a tap and hot water as well, which is really cool. Mm. Um, and you can see how all of that fits together in our other episode, Home Away From Home. Um, but for now... Uh, Should we turn the gas on? Yeah. Well, actually, there's one other part. So we're going to use this bit in a second um, to cook part of this meal that we're doing. Um, and we're going to use another cheeky little part uh, to cook the other half of the meal. Huh. Let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah, let's let's have a look at that in yes. a second. First of all, we're going to need this. Check this out. Oh, what's that? So we've got our cutlery drawer. Why is it all in plastic? It's all fresh out of the depot. Way. Cool. Oh, that's good. So it's yeah. all like got yeah. plastic on it. Look at that. Cool. So it's all freshly sealed. Nice. Um, we're gonna need these things. Yeah. Also, we got a can opener. We might need that later too. <laughs> nice. Cool. All right, let's check out the other bit. Cool. If you've just joined us, what are we doing? Ah, uh, yeah. So if you. We just are. Us, we... Who are we? Who are we? And what oh. are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm Saxon, and this is Nicola. Hello. Um, and we have been doing some filming with uh, Brits camper vans, um, actually over the last couple of years. So we've done some epic camper van trips. Um, and so the guys at Brits have asked us to check out a couple of their vans and we're doing it in four episodes. This episode we will be cooking up a storm, so showing you all the kitchen bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yes. Awesome. And right now, right. we are having a look at... I'm going to need the keys for this bit. Aha! Quite excited about this. <laughs> what is it? What's in there? What is it? Ah. Yeah, it's a barbecue! Oh, cool! Sweet. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool, hey? Yeah. So, um, how does it work? Let's see. We haven't actually cooked on this thing yet, but we're going to give it a go. So, we've got this. This all looks brand new. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Um, so, we've got like a double hob here. Um, I guess this is like a barbecue plate, which we put on here, our little gas thing. But I think first we have to connect it to the gas. Okay. And I think we do that with this. Yeah. All right. Can you see that? Mm hmm. So we've got like a little thingy here. Yeah. That goes in there. I'll give it a twist. Cool. And then we also need to turn the gas bottle on. So I think the gas bottle 
It's around the other side here. You okay. Oh, yay. Yeah. Give us a like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you're listening, um, we've got 19 people watching. Hello, oh, 19 oh, people. <laughs> Say hi. Um, give us a like. Give us a little thumbs up. Give us some questions you might have. We're here to help you help understand this van <laughs> as we understand it ourselves. Yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, so this is obviously where the gas is kept. Uh, yeah. It's quite helpfully labelled. And then we've got this bottle here. Now, I think to open it we need to turn Woo! that. Woo! Yeah, bring on the likes. There Thanks, you go. guys. So we spin that little tap around all, right, yeah. all the way and then a half turn back the other way. Nice. Cool. So that's good to go. Got to remember to turn that off when we leave. Yeah. Um, but right now, all of those uh, cooking appliances should be good to go, as well as the hot water for the shower. Um, so oh, hot water for the No way. Yeah. There's a hot water shower. And does it work all the time, or is it just what's yeah. your... Well, it works whenever you've got the gas connected. So you could be out in the middle of the bush somewhere. You don't have to be in a powered site. Um, you could be in the middle of a national park. And, uh, yeah, as long as you are stopped, you turn the gas on, click the button, and let yeah. the hot water heat up. Awesome. And then you can have a hot shower. Cool. Oh, thanks, Andrea. Hey. Oh, she says, top job, guys. Hey. Thanks, Andrea. <laughs> thanks, Andrea. Cool. cool. Right, so yeah, I'm how does this work? This. Yeah. Do you want some help with that? Uh, Are you okay? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah? I don't think this has ever been used. Yeah. Not by me, that's for sure. Right, mm. so that would be this one. Yeah, it is, Brendan. Look at that. This was... Hey. Oh, wee. Nice. Action. Yeah. Do we that. need both on? Yeah, let's fire them both up. Yeah, if you guys have any questions that we can't answer, um, Brits will answer them afterwards for you. So don't be shy. Yeah. Just Ask put your questions, questions in the oh, comments at the bottom. It's working. <laughs> nice. There go. Cool. So I'm going to heat up that plate. Yep. And, uh, Do you want some oil? Not yet. No. But we'll get there. Okay. Oh, this is kind of worth pointing out. Check this out. This little table sort of thing. Um, so the tabletop lives over here. All oh, right. You just unhook it. Yeah. And then you slide it into this little groove here. And then you've got this little nice. table kitchen set up outside. Which cool. Which is pretty sweet. But yes. we. Do we want to sit there or do we want to sit somewhere else? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Because, like, I'm just, just saying, like, yeah. look at that. Look at that piece of, piece of grass there. Oh, look, it's so pretty. Yes? Yeah, no, let's do something else. This is really cool as well. So in the back of the van here, that's a good point. While our barbecue hot plate is heating up, we've got um, a heap of storage, obviously, and... Huh. Picnic table. Nice. So, and picnic chairs. Yeah. Can you guys hear the birds in the background? All right. They're really loud. Should I close this? Uh, I close them. Yeah. yeah. Is it open? Hang on. Close yeah. that one. All right. Be all like tidy and stuff. Oh, so pretty. Nice. All right, just in case you're tuning in to where we are, we are in Altona, and this is Cherry Lake, and it's really beautiful. And we're going to have a little sunset early dinner. Super nice, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't Do you know cool? what? The gas bottle got so many thumbs up. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And the and the sunset, the beautiful sunset, just got two thumbs up as well. Really cool. But this is kind of what you know why you want to get on a camper van, right? Because you want to be able to stop wherever you feel like it yeah wherever looks pretty and cool do your thing outdoors it's pretty sweet yay all right have i assembled that correctly yeah it looks pretty good does that look right yeah looks yeah. fantastic all right awesome <laughs> right. oh and if you guys have been on any trips as well where you're like oh this is a really cool spot check it out um let us know in the comments as well yeah 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 please Oh, they Maybe look really complicated. Around Melbourne. Yeah. yeah, I'm hoping that it's actually not too complicated. <laughs> I don't want to... Ah, hey. There we go. Look at that. Easy. Oh, he's even got Brits written on it. Look. Mm. Hey. Mm. <laughs> this looks pretty new as well. Yeah. Alright. And... Hey. hey. Sweet. There nice. we go. Cool. Awesome. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're good. How's that hot plate looking? Probably pretty hot now. Yeah. Oh, it looks looking good. Cool. It's like, ooh. Yeah. Should we check out the inside bits? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, let's do it. Should we swap around? Yes. Let's oh, do it. Great. Thank you. Awesome.
the right. <laughs> cool. Cool. Alright, yeah, so inside, um, we've actually got a lot of space here considering that it's got a shower and toilet in it, which is pretty cool. Um, it is a two bath, so it sleeps two people, it drives two people. If you meet friends along the way, I'm sure you can snuggle up, but you can't drive them around because they need to have a seatbelt on once you drive them around. So it is meant for two people. Um, having said that, look at all the space that it's got for just two people. Um, so we've got a hub over here, we've got all of our workspace over here, we've got our fridge, we've got our cutlery that Saxon showed us already, um, but you might not have seen if you're just tuning in. You want one of these. Do you want to put the lamb on? Uh, what do you think? Should we start now? Yeah. How about so. you talk, do a talk through about what we're cooking? Oh yeah. Let's do that. The most important thing of the whole, the whole episode today. We're cooking one of our favourite um, meals from the road. Uh, we kind of invented this one when we were first travelling around Australia um, and it's going to be a salad with runner beans and caramelised red onions and pawpaw and lamb and these are lots of things that you can get at the side of the road in Australia that are really kind of local and yummy and nice and if you're vegetarian it's fine to so use an aubergine and cut that up and bang that on the barbecue and that's really nice um, this here is by the way is called an eggplant here because it looks like an egg <laughs> as you can see I think they have white ones that actually do look like eggs, so that's very nice. Alright, so um, I've kind of cut stuff up already because you don't want to watch me cutting up onions, I cry a lot, <laughs> which is like hilarious, but also quite dramatic. Um, so I've cut that one up already, but um, what I've got here is a pawpaw, and we've also got some lamb. Should we bring the lamb at the same time? Yeah, let's grab yeah. the lamb. Yep. Here we go, we've got our lamb. Whoa! Oh, I'm hungry too. Um, and in order to cut this out, we're going to need one of these. Look at that. It also comes with a van, which is really cool because you don't have to worry about bringing like anything really. Like everything we're using here today um, comes with the van. So you don't need to worry about, oh, do I need to buy a chopping board? Do I need to buy tea towels? Um, it's even got a little bit of detergent in it to start off with. So you're not going to be worried about running out of detergent to start with until you get to the supermarket and buy detergent for yourself. Um, the only thing that we have in here which doesn't come with the van is this. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> can't go anywhere before. without that thing. <laughs> this is Saxon's, he brought it along. But it means you can have like proper nice hits of coffee on the road. As well. <laughs> and it's not that heavy. <laughs> Very nice. Cool. Alright. So I've got this one out. So I've got two tea towels. Sure. Dishwashing liquid. Got two tea towels, dishwashing liquid, two lots. Until you get your own. Beautiful. Um, don't forget, if you've got any questions, um, we are live, so mm. put your questions down in the comment section below. Yeah, let's check. How are we doing here? Oh, yes. Yeah, that feels hot. All right. Yeah? Oh, super nice. If you yes. have never seen a pop up before, <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's also called papaya in other parts of the world. Um, and this is how you deal with it. So don't be afraid. Take it in two hands. Scoop out the insides. Oh yeah, I'll come around here. Yeah. Hang on. Hey, we're joined by a buddy. Oh, hello, buddy. <laughs> that and, uh... oh, Rachel's got the same cafetiera. Oh, no way. Nice. Cool. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And this is, this by the way, is like really tropical fruit, so it's really nice um, and fresh and yummy and amazing. And you get it right from the source. It doesn't have to sit on a, you know, on a tanker or anything to get to you. Do you need, do you reckon? Should we do half of that? Uh, yeah, probably about that. Yeah, about that. Yep. We, and then we have the rest for dessert. Yep, that yeah, looks good. Sounds good. Cool. I think that barbecue plate's definitely hot enough now. Yeah? Alright, should we put the lamb on? Yeah. Cool. Just put the, put it, put the camera down and we can... Here you go. Hold do it that one. Time. Yeah. Nice one. Cool. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. Go for okay. it. Alright. The moment of truth. 
Oh, yummo. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, this is probably too much for us just now. We took it all anyway. Uh, yeah, I think so. Might That's alright, we'll enough have, some... To have some leftovers. <laughs> we might have some friends around later too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. Yum. Oh. I'm turn that down. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay. Uh, so, it feels a bit strange to be at the barbecue and cooking some stuff without. Uh, a beer, so I think we can uh, we can probably get ourselves one of those. We've got our little fridge here, um, just keeping all of these things cold. Would you like a drink? Oh yes, please. Ah, cool. Yes, please. All right. Let's see how this goes. So, aha! One of those things, pretty handy. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Can I put this over here? Yeah, put that up there. Yeah, okay. Here you go. Thank you very much. With them. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Alright. Mm, how are we looking? Probably looking pretty good. Oh, delicious. Alright. This is Western Australian, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, I think Yeah, oh, that's a good idea Cheers. actually. Cheers. Cheers. Um, since the of micro brewing revolution in Australia, you can get some really good local beers out of all the different kind of local breweries. So don't, you can totally go like for your Heineken or your Beck or whatever, which is awesome, but at the same time, try some of this, it's really nice. Wow. A lot of people are doing interesting stuff. Let's have a look at this. Wow. Ah. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, it's gone a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Yeah, yeah. Let's do the inside now. Yeah. I'm just turning these over. Yeah, keep them on low. Beautiful. All right, what do we got cooking in here? caramelizing our onions and uh, making our runner beans for the salad so it's going to give it a nice kind of sweet flavor with the, the salty lamb so we need a frying pan oh, where's that there we go it's down here so you've got like two pans in here and a really big one so you can make your pasta bolognese or whatever you want or your baked beans if you're a massive fan and it won't be a road trip without baked beans for you but once you're ready to do your stuff in here just turn that on. Oh, hang on. So you don't need matches for that one? No, this one has a little lighter inside. Cool. But if there is any issues, then just use matches. Um, and what I might also do is, if you have a look up here. Oh, wait. I can turn on the, see that little thing? I turn on the range hood switch, which means I can turn on the light and a little. Ah. How cool. I know. Which I won't use at the moment because it's going to be a bit loud, but you can. Very nice. Yeah. Is it still on? Cool. So for anyone who has just tuned in, we are cooking up a storm today. Um, that there is Nicola and Hello. I'm Saxon and um, we have been filming heaps with uh, Brits Camper Vans all over Australia and New Zealand. Um, and so they've asked us to come along and check out some of their vans. Yep. Um, yeah, so carry on, keep going. So, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we'll just wait, wait for that to heat up a little bit. Yeah. Can you guys hear me okay? Because we are holding the camera a little bit further away from where we usually are today because of the cooking and stuff. So if you can't hear us, if we're not loud enough, let us know. Yes, please yeah. do. And if you've got any questions about any of this stuff, uh, just pop them in the comments down below and we will do our very best to answer them for you. Awesome. Yes. Cool. Um, so yeah, if you've just tuned in, we are making a salad with caramelized spring onions and runner beans and pawpaw and lamb on the barbecue and um, this yeah, is a dish that we there. kind of it's out there <laughs> this is a dish we kind of invented for ourselves um, when we first got to Australia and the reason that it's kind of this combination of stuff 
is that we had been traveling through Indonesia for quite a while, um, like a few months, I think, beforehand. Yeah. And we love Southeast Asian food, all the different types of Southeast Asian food, including Indonesian food. Um, but we really missed that kind of the fresh salad and um, and the sort of, you know, medium rare meat that you can't really get over there that much because they have to cook everything very thoroughly. Um, and so we just kind of put all the fresh stuff that we could find in a salad together and just had that for about five days. <laughs> yeah, we just kept <laughs> having the same thing <laughs> over and over again. It so yummy. But it was really good. It was really good. Have you taken my little things? What are you after? The spatula things. Ah, oh, no. Uh, nope. I found them. Aha. Uh -huh. So it comes with one of these as well. Um, what is it? It's a it's a spatula and a spoony thing. Ah, uh, yes. So you can use that for not eating but cooking. And they all come wrapped in plastic, which is great because it means that you know that they're clean because no one can use them once they're wrapped in plastic. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Christmas. Let's check out this view again. Oh, nice. Uh, who's watching at the moment? Who have There's we got? some ducks. Uh, not sure, but if you are interested in any of the stuff that we're looking at and you want to have a closer look or whatever, just let us know in the comments below and we'll check it out for you. Um, ask us any questions at all and we'll do our best to answer them for you. And anything that's too tricky, we will ask the Brits guys to see if they yeah. can answer for you as well oh, later on in the comments. How's that really, looking? I love the smell of cooking onions. Nice. Oh, really... oh. <laughs> I know, I genuinely do. Yeah. It's one of my favourite smells. How's it going out there? Uh, you... Yeah, let's yeah. have a look. I'll so go and have a look. look. Yep. How's Ooh. that? How are the more hens doing? Way. Oh, I, I think I need the tongs. Oh, look at that there. Yummy. Woo. Yeah, that's going really nice, eh? It's going really well. Yum. I'm so impressed. Like, it's not sticking or anything. No, that's sweet as. Yeah. That's actually going to be more or less done soon. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, that's <laughs> good, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, that is looking sweet. Awesome. And this is on the, just want to say, this is on the outside of the van. Yeah. There you go. So you can just pull up and... Yay! <laughs> Good night. Sorry? Uh, I'm gonna go and check my onions because yeah, my thanks. onions should be good. <laughs> oh, yummo. Look at that. How's that going? Oh, and if you guys have any kind of recipes from the road, just let us know because uh, it'd be cool to see what you guys have been cooking up once you've been out on the road and what you guys like. If you can hear me over the, the sound of the onions, because <laughs> they do make quite a nice noise. Awesome. I think we're about ready to put our, our beans in there. That's looking awesome out there, yeah? by the way. Cool. Yep. Can you grab Very that? Cool. Uh, I got him. Yep. Cool. Nice. What do we got there? Uh, just, some, just some beans. Green beans. Green beans, straight off, a, straight off a thing. You can eat these raw. But they're really nice if you heat them up slightly. They get really good because I've still got that crunch. Lovely. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's pretty hot, eh? Yes. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Oh, man. Yummy. Great stuff. Then you add to season them with normal stuff. In fact, in a lot of the Brits depots, there's a little shelf with things that people have left behind that they haven't used. So for example, I buy this, right? And I only use half of it, but it's still perfectly good because I only bought it like three days ago because I was on a holiday over the weekend. Um, and I don't want to take it home with me, then I can just put that in the sharing shelf and then other people will need it. So before you go, it's another reason to shop once you've picked up your van, because you'll know what you need to shop for. So, you know, you pick up salt, you pick up oil, you pick up paper towels and stuff like that. And you don't have to buy them and waste them because you've already got them. So that's a really handy little tip. That's a top idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there man. was a rice cooker in one of the ones today. <laughs> no way. Yep. And a dartboard. Oh, that's awesome. A dartboard? Yep. A dartboard and a dartboard. rice cooker. I know, and I nearly don't took hang it. hang the dartboard on the outside of the van, though. It's not a good idea. Hang on a tree or something. <laughs> 
Cool. Awesome. I think um, we'll just let that simmer for a little bit longer. Yep. And then we can plate up. We okay. Can... Yeah, great. I reckon the lamb's going to be done. Uh, my beer, I believe. How are we looking here with the lamb? Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool, hey? Look at this. Oh, that's so nice. We got all our ducks out there. Oh, I don't believe what I just found. What have you found? <laughs> We're doing a winery tour. Make sure that before you drink any of this, you are parked up for the night. Yes. Or you have a designated driver. Yes. But how good? Good point. Proper wine glass. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Actual glass. Actual glass. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Nicely done. Cool. Uh, just in case you've just joined us. Um, I'm Saxon and Nicola's in there and uh, we are uh, having a look around this Brits Ventura, no, Ventura camper van. Um, yeah, so we're uh, today cooking up a storm just so that we can show you um, how all of the kitchen bits and pieces work and what's involved and what's in here and uh, we're just putting it through a bit of a tester. So uh, we are live. Um, if you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below and we'll do our very best to answer them for you. Yeah? Cool. How's it looking up there? Oh, it's looking amazing. There's some salt on there. Yeah. I think we're done. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. I, I reckon the lamb's going to be done as well. Yeah. Cool. I have I put this outside. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, do I bring the plates out already? Uh, yep, plates cool. are out here. This is pretty nice. <laughs> the color of this leaf. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Like a unicorn. Everyone's seen that unicorn thing nowadays, aren't they? Where they've got like all the multicolored. Oh, unicorn food. Unicorn food. Yeah. yeah. I reckon this lamb is going to be pretty much good to go now as well. Yeah. Look at that. This is such a good place to cook. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Nice. <laughs> oh, Amy, thanks for sharing the video. That was really cool. Um, Make sure you hit us up in the comments if you've got any questions or if you guys have a really cool uh, camper van recipe that you have cooked on the road, um, we would love to hear about what it is. So um, detail it all down there for us. I'm going to switch this off now, I think. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, this is looking good. Looking very good. Looking yummy. There we go. That's that off. Um, yum. How's that? That looks wicked. Turn all that gas off. Yeah. Uh, all the pieces. There you go. Oh, Scylla says hi. She's just joined hey. us. Hello, how's it going? Hi, Scylla. Are you getting hungry yet? <laughs> yeah. Probably pretty hungry. Mm. There we go. We have the rest of the dessert. How's that? Good stuff. Yeah, yeah that looks awesome. Yep. Cool. All right. Should I put the lamb on? All right. Let's do this. Do you reckon you could bring the plates over? Thank you. All right. All right. Here we go. Yes. So there's probably quite a lot here, actually. Probably more than we actually can can do. Let's do three pieces three for now. Pieces. How's that? Can I have a big one? Yes. You want that one? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And then that one. There you go. That one? This one. That one? Yeah. All right. There you go. Lovely. That's amazing. Oh, That's pretty that. good, hey? Yeah. All right. Shall we go and uh, go set up our... Yeah. I'll grab the beers. Yeah. Awesome. In case you're wondering what is going on, we are Nicola and Saxon from Rat and Dragon. Um, we have made some cool films for um, Brits camper vans over the last two years and been on some epic road trips. So the guys have asked us to look through one of the vans, which is the Ventura over there. And the Ventura has an outside barbecue, which we just made this on. 
Yeah. This is one of our favorite dishes from the road. Um, it's a green bean caramelized red onion and pawpaw salad with lamb. Lots of fresh local ingredients and really easy. As you've just seen, we've made it in about 10 minutes. Yeah, wherever right. we made it. <laughs> We're in Altona. Right uh, there. Yeah. In that camper van. In that camper van. That is pretty sweet. Go, and so now we've got... Like cool. Oh, we've got a couple of questions. That's oh, cool. cool. Thank you so much for asking your questions, guys. Um, so, uh, Scylla asks if the uh, barbecue is attached to the camper or whether we needed to bring it ourselves. It's attached to the camper. It literally slides out and it's attached to the gas bottle and it's right there. Yeah, so it's pretty cool, it's, huh? It's included in the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. And this table and chairs set? This table and chairs set also came from the depot. I think you might have to book for it. Um, but, uh, yeah, just ask the guys in the branch and they'll be able to tell you. Yeah, I think you can decide when you get there. I don't think yeah. they actually come as standard with all of them, um, yeah. but you can ask for them. And yeah, they just hooked us up when we yeah. when we got there and went, hey, we're, we're cooking a barbecue. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, this is what you need. Yeah. This is awesome. There is another t table which is connected to the outside of the van. Yes. You can see over there, the one that we've been preparing the food on. Uh, you can use that as well. Um, but if you want a bit of extra space or you're in a situation like this where the van is there because you've driven up somewhere and you want to sit right by the water. Yeah, which is really nice. Cool. All right. Well, what do you think? Yeah. We've managed to do it. Oh, hey, Jamie. Hey. Cool. Yeah. Thank. Yeah. That... So we can start working. Uh, start working. Start. Start eating. eating. Yeah. Let's do it. Get to yeah, work Jamie. Work. Jamie said it looks like you can cook loads on that barbecue, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. You can have a proper little party on the barbecue. Pretty nice. Very nice. All right. There we go. Well, hey. So there we're we all we're all set. I think. We're all set. Look at that. There's our food. <laughs> There's our sunset. Cheers. Lovely. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's pop that there and see if we can um have a little bit of a palava over the food. Oh, yeah. oh put it away. There we awesome. go. Awesome! What have we got? Right. There's the van. There's the van. Can you see it in the background? Yeah, there's the lake. <laughs> there's the sunset. It's getting all pink. It's beautiful. Um this was episode three of Brits Live, uh, a four part series that we're doing live through Facebook. Uh, with the Brits guys, we are going to be broadcasting episode four, which is me driving around. So watch out, people, <laughs> <laughs> on Thursday at 4:30 Melbourne time, 6:30 p.m. New Zealand, New Zealand time. time. And uh, it's not that difficult to drive one of these. Yeah, so we'll check yeah. out some of the features, reversing and all that, and seeing how how easy or how difficult it can be. But yeah, yeah should be good. Oh, Silla. Yeah. Hey! Way. Oh, thanks so much. Thank Sula. you so much, Sula. That's really cool. <laughs> That's really sweet. Yeah, <laughs> dinner's here. Um, band's there. What have we got here? Yeah, we got our, there. Yeah, we got our little sunset view. Oh, oh that's ah. awesome. All right, cool. All right, go for it. All right, cheers. 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 Yeah. Cool. Thanks very cheers. much for joining us, guys. Cheers. <laughs> and uh, if you do have any more questions or comments or anything, put them in the comment section below because uh, the British guys will answer them for you uh, later through Facebook. And uh, we'll see you next week, or in a couple of days, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. Nah, good. Bye. Bye.